Have you ever wished that the lure that you were fishing with wasn't there, dematerialized into nothing, unexisted itself? Is that what you ever wished? Sorry, my kids are yelling. It's invisible lure time. One day! Ah, uh, the screw eyes and the hooks and the split rings will be visible. Other than that, clear Lexan polycarbonate lure. It's gonna be three pieces sandwiched together, and then in the middle piece is gonna have that cutout section. Air pocket, extra Lexan for weight towards the bottom. We're going for nothing as possible. Eight, oh, six. You couldn't see it because of the glare. Starting at the right time. My biggest concern on this build is that the Lexan polycarbonate's so heavy, it doesn't work well. But that's it, that's all. And we've dealt with plenty of lures that don't work well, so I'm not that scared. Oh my goodness, I just spilled my split rings everywhere. So I gotta take one of these, probably this one, drill a hole inside of there, put a coping saw blade in, and cut that out. Let's cope. Oh man, I lost the pin. You see how that has a pin? I lost it on that side, what the heck, gone somewhere in the shop ether over there. Dude, if I have to go to the store because of this, that's... You know, different tools do different things. I can use a different tool. I have a Dremel. Let's get aggressive. Cylindrical cutter, maybe? Okay, we have that shape cut out for an air pocket in the middle of this thing. I've been sanding all the surfaces that will get glued together with 400 grit. So to make this quick, I'm gonna use UV resin. I'm gonna put a layer down over this whole thing. And that kinda does away with the scratches and stuff that were on there from the sandpaper. Just a one-sided application will work. I'm gonna squish this next piece down, line it up perfectly. Okay, I'm applying pressure. I'm gonna go set this outside to cure the rest of the way. Cause sunlight is best. Let's cut that lip slot. There's gonna be no wiggle room really. This Lexan polycarbonate does not deform like wood. It's gotta be a perfectly cut slot. Like that. That fit in there real nice. It's kinda hard to get in and out. Perfect. This is feeling heavy. I'm pretty sure it will sink, but a countdown crank style, flat sided, fast moving little psycho cranker, that's gonna be good. Just belt sanded all three of those layers completely flush. I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding on every corner, chamfer every corner, just a smidget. Take this last layer of film off so we can see how translucent. Oh, you can like see the UV resin. You know, it's not as flat as the surface of the Lexan inside of there, that's kind of cool. The glare. I'm kind of, okay. Let me stop playing dumb with you guys. I'm aware that this is gonna reflect light. It's gonna flash under the water. It's a sunny day out too. Sun's gonna come in, bounce off of this, hit a fish's eye. That's gonna attract a fish. I know. I mainly wanna see if this works well. If this works well, my camera just wants to show you guys my face. If this works well, that's a cool proven concept. We need to prove it and we need to be cool. That's a cool concept to prove. I'm just trying to say this is a video about how cool I am.
That's better. There, I even gave the tail a bit of a taper. Fancy. Okay, now it's just a quite the matter of just, I'm gonna polish the sides of the lip. I'm gonna polish the whole freaking body. Starting with 150 grit and going to 400. And I'm not gonna go any further than 400 because I'm just gonna put UV resin over the whole thing and clear coat it. And that'll be the gloss finish. I'm just gonna be doing this for super, super long time. I made sure that that pilot hole for that screw eye was not any longer than the threads going in there to make this lure look like nothing as much as possible. Usually you can't see all of the internal work on a lure like this, so I'm actually having to make it nice and clean and straight and perfect. <laughs> Pilot holes drilled, time to glue this lip in, and then I have to re-drill through that lip because I sent that pilot hole through the lip slot. Then install the hardware, clear coat, it's done. Big old bada bang, bada boom. Everything's getting UV resin. I think even the, the hardware, because the UV light can go through. And the UV resin's the clearest, like most non-yellowing stuff I have, so that's what we'll do. I want a super well-placed lip with this bait because I think it is going to be a sinking bait that moves quick and baits that move quick need a very straight, well-centered lip. <clears throat> Let's give that five minutes. That needs to be super set. I've been taking my time. It's 1049, but we can take our time because let's just say I'm very confident that this thing's going to be official. There's like guaranteed officialness in our future. I am not even slightly worried. In goes the screw eyes. There's some satisfaction involved with being able to see your hardware inside of your bait placed so perfectly. Believe it or not, that's, I need to get the UV resin down to the bottom of that pilot hole. I'm doing that for a reason. UV clear coat and we're done. Just this is a weirdly satisfying, I didn't expect this to be so satisfying, this build, but I love that. And it's not even nearly as clear as it's about to be. Wow, where did it go? Where'd my lure go? I can't see it. Imperfections in this clear coat are gonna be ridiculously visible. Crazy how much there are, you don't usually see all that. You see them all? I'm gonna get that rotating and hit it with the torch, get rid of them all, let it spin for a while more, take it outside. I just realized it's like I just made an unpainted lure blank. It's like a homemade, unpainted, and never will be painted lure blank. Right when I brought it out, I, I witnessed like two bubbles form and I tried to like smush them with my fingernail and it kind of worked and it looks pretty clean. That is pretty clean. See? That's not bad. That looks to be an intentionally very clear lure. I'm gonna give that till like after lunch. A lot of time. Let that fully harden and cure. I don't wanna like leave fingerprints on this super clear lure. Okay, time to see how nothing works. If it doesn't float, that's okay, but it would be so freaking sweet if this floated. It won't. I, I so doubt that it, yeah. It's a nice slow sink. Dude, in a super standard, lovely little wobble. I would definitely prefer a bit more kick and a bit more stability, but you know, what are you gonna do? I'm just kind of realizing my neighbor came over and I just went and picked tomatoes with him and stopped testing the lure, like right in the middle of testing, sorry. It works, but it's not very good when it comes to the wiggle wobble. Kind of expecting that, because it's just solid, heavy plastic with a small air chamber. It sits upright. Not a lot to boast about. 
when it comes to the action of that bait. But this is a lot to boast about. Boy, if I had this in my backyard, I'd be boasting to everybody I come across. Let's step out there and make it official real quick. Balancing camera and coffee in one hand. Got a couple poles. I got a net under my armpit. We're prepared. What's Kevin got here? Oh, nice. Spare poles and a net. Heck yeah. And a spot to put my camera. Wow. That's perfect. So let's not throw any food pellets out. Let's try to maintain some officialness. You see it? So it's visible. It, that is very visible in the water right there. It certainly doesn't look like a food pellet though. I already know so many people are gonna make fun of my knot. It's like made for heavy fluorocarbon. You know, looks ridiculous, I know. As a fishing YouTuber, you can be somewhat self-conscious about your the knots you tie, because a lot of people are gonna see them. And that's some of the most viewed fishing content on YouTube is just knots. It is an unexpected can of worms, that topic. Oh, fish on. It's official. It's official. Bass like nothing. We have made nothing official. Be free. 123. One day successful. I yelled that. That's something to say loud and proud. One day successful. Oh, fish on. What is that? Dude, this thing's like a spring. What is this fish? Oh, it's pulling. Oh, what is it doing? Okay, take it easy. It's probably just a bass and I'm just excited. Oh, it's a wiper. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Oh, that's a big wiper. That's a big wiper, fellas. That feels good. Dude, it bent my hooks. What a beast. Roided up beast of a fish right here. That fought so hard. I have no clue how much that weighs, but whew, those things fight so hard. It's official. Wiper like nothing. Be free. He just wanted to do a barrel roll and then go. He was fine. That was quite the fight. I need to get my bait out of here. Oh my goodness. What that thing did to my hook. That was without any food pellets too. Incredible. I don't need to cheat. That might be the smallest bass I've ever caught here. Is that a 3.2, 3.1? I think it's a 3.1 inch Epic Whip Wad. Got a crappie, crappie under the dock. I don't know why I just abandoned the, the point of the video, but I'm, I'm just having fun catching different fish by the dock with a little bait right now. Ooh, that was something bigger. Is that a smallmouth? What the heck? Dude. There are smallmouth in here. Look at that eye. I had no clue. That's incredible. There's smallmouth in this pond too. Wow. Be free. All right, let's switch back to the point of the video. Let's go do a little walk with this bait around the pond. If I was a tiger muskie. This is where I would hang out. Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Dude, that felt like a pike just smacked my bait at the bank, but it's a Bajornson bass. Man, they're getting bigger and they're nice and long, you know, they're gonna fill out even more. 
That is just a monster. I am a happy bait making fisherman right now. Be free. That one shocked me. Got it? What is it? It's a little bass. And these are like the, the little younglings. I wouldn't quite call that a Padawan yet. At the Bajornson Fish Temple. Oh, it happened again. Dude, these bass are so big. Oh my goodness. It's a monster, man. It's so weird, bass will just eat nothing. That's crazy. Let's see if they're still interested in eating nothing over here. Oops. Oh, I just turned off my camera and then I caught a fish. Darn it. <laughs> this one's fighting good. What is it? It's doing big circles. I think it might be a wiper. Nope. It's just a super, super fat largemouth. Look at that largemouth. Dude, look at the roundness. It's not super long or huge or anything, but whoa. That might be a mama. It's official. Mama schlobber nozzles like nothing. Be free. So strange. Every single time I go to Bajornson's, either the video completely cuts out and gets corrupted or the audio gets corrupted or something. I don't know if it's trail cam he's got sitting around the dock right there, but I, I have the Wi-Fi settings shut off on my camera. I don't know. I just don't know. It's so baffling. I was taking a drink of coffee and then I caught this catfish though. Pretty sweet. Wasn't even reeling. That's a pretty good catfish. Good belly on it. Catfish bro just pulverized my hooks. Oops. That's not good. Lost a hook point on the back. We still got a double hook back there. And now my line's full of catfish slime. Catfish like nothing, it's official. Oh, that was a good one. That's what it probably was. It's another catfish. Got tangled on something. There we go. Got it back. Woo. Got tangled. Got detangled. It's official. Catfish like nothing. Once again, that's two catfish. That's crazy. Be free. That was such a substantial hit. There. New hooks. Don't need to worry about that lost hook point impeding my hookups. Okay. Let's just get in the water. We're at the ditch. We're going to take the kayak down the hill, get in the water. The goal is to see if this bait can catch all natural fish, not just pond fish, you know. That's something that you guys always comment on. Doesn't count. Well, nope, that didn't count. It was a pond fish. That's not fishing. Loser. You suck. Just kidding. You guys don't. You guys are not that mean. Let's go. Oh. I love putting the kayak in the ditch. Oh. Away we go. Oh, 
fish on. Fish on, fellas. Oh my goodness, we got a river fish. Right when it hit the water. Well, there we go. River largy. Like nothing. Amazing. You know, maybe they like splashes because it just hit whatever splashed on the surface right there. I'm going to say they like nothing anyway. Be free. Ooh. Oh, good fish. Oh, it's not rocket. Couldn't even tell it was on for quite a while. It's official. Pike, like nothing. We've gotten so many types of fish on this bait. We even got a pike with a really messed up front lip on the top there. Just a little guy, he was so fast. Like he shot under my kayak and across it and I just, I didn't think I had it. Then I reeled in a ton and it was still on. Was... <laughs> he definitely did the snot rocket thing. Finished it off with a jig and didn't catch anything. They wanted nothing. It's official. Got a little less transparent the more it got beat up. One sec. I'd say mine's a bit more see-through than a standard lure blank, especially when it was new. This is tough to grade. It's very general, giving it A, B, C, D, F categories. Each score takes up 20% of what it is. It's hard to like generalize it that much. Oh, I could do minuses and pluses, like B minus fishel. It's completely pointless to keep the fishel thing on. There was so much to be desired still when it comes to action. For being a clear lure, like the goal was transparency, I'd give it like a B. It wasn't like perfectly transparent. The air chamber made it visible. The, it's got extra stuff off of it, like a lip and split rings and stuff. It's like a B. Action was a D. It's fish catching potential is a freaking A. Like it did great. Eh. It just gets a B. It's just a B. It caught too many fish to be a C. It's a B. Unpainted lure blanks are official. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you want to see next. On to the next bait. All the officialness in this video is brought to you by Bajornson Pond Management. They do electro fishing audits, fish stocking, land management around your pond, pond construction, even vegetation control. If you need aeration, algicides, aquatic dyes, some beneficial bacteria, they got natural pond treatments, if you're into that, dock building products, fish attractants, fish feeders, fish food, traps, swim pads, paddle boards, whatever you need for your pond. BJPond.com, go give them a gander. Around to my parts, Bajornson Pond Management's like the go-to for pond stuff. Like you know it's a healthy pond if it's managed by Bajornson. I've never asked. I've always said Bajornson, but it might be like Bajornson. Bajornson. Is it Bajornson? Pronouncenames.com. Bro. Bjornson. 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 Now I'm gonna say Bajornson. Bjornson. 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 Maybe I should just ask someday. Anyway, Bajornson Pond Management, BJPond.com. Go get your pond stuff.